Uh, the customers that we've had, a great deal of interest in a lot of the new products that have come to the market, especially a lot of the uh, sort of wireless park hands and stuff like this, and a lot of the ways they're looking to upsell their current products or you know add that extra extra touch to the events they're doing. For example, a lot of GoGo projections have been quite popular this year with people looking at ways of getting into that to do custom monograms, uh, particular interest in light consoles and sort of custom front panels so that they're a way of selling, upselling to a customer. And obviously uplighting has been popular for several years, but people are looking at a more um, faster solutions basically for uplighting. So particular interest in a lot of the battery powered and also the wireless DMX fixtures, which obviously save you a hell of a lot of time when you're sort of doing the setups and stuff like that. Have you had many sort of bedroom DJs coming in asking about the equipment? Yeah. People starting out in the gym, and if so, what's the product that you think is, yeah. is most interesting? Yeah, yeah. So we we obviously aim to cater for all types of DJs, right from professional sort of club DJs and world touring DJs all the way through to the people just getting into this. And obviously, we also do production equipment and stuff like that. Um, a lot of interest in sort of the um, pioneer. DDJ SB and the RB, they've been incredibly popular along with the sort of the Mixed Track Platinum and the Mixed Track Pro 3, which are all really solid entry level products, both from Newmark and from Pioneer, which have been incredibly popular because people just like to, you know, they're really easy to use, they get but you've got they're packed full of features which you know the bedroom DJs are looking for to get on the ladder to learn the sort of to learn the art of mixing, which then enables them to sort of natively move over to the new products as um, you know, as, as they grow and expand as a, as a DJ. Uh, as a vendor, um, is it going to be a BPM for you? Yeah, fantastic show. It always is. We, you know, it's uh, 10 years of BPM and obviously we're really excited, you know, obviously to be involved with this show and obviously excited to hopefully be involved again in the future. You know, uh, we did it last year and did a, we had a large stand and this year we've come back with a, you know, a larger stand and something that's a little bit more impressive. Obviously that's reflected with the uh, sort of the name change and stuff like that sort of making a bit of a statement and obviously just to show that you know as a company we're growing and that we've got more to offer than just sort of the uh, the DJ equipment. Okay. Of the sort of new products we've seen, you know, the big announcements around, my perception is the Roland DJ eight oh eight and the Pioneer two products from the Pioneer. Yeah. Including is it is it the Wii Four? Yeah the Wii Go four and there's the DJ four fifty DJM four fifty from Pioneer and then there's the Roland yeah, forgive me, I've forgotten yeah, the model the, number. The Roland DJ808 seems to be attracting quite a lot of criticism that I'm seeing on Twitter and Facebook. What's your perception as a vendor? Are people excited and asking about it? Or is there not much interest? Yeah. Um, with every new product, people are asking about it and looking, at, you know, looking for pricing to sort of see where it's going to sit in the market. You know, compared to the Pioneers and the Denon and stuff like that. Um, there has been a great deal of interest in it, and but I suppose only time will tell as people get hold of them whether the sort of criticisms and also the sort of the interest becomes apparent, you know. Um, generally, first impressions of the units, though, from what I've seen, really well built. Hopefully they should be good products and best of luck to them with their new sort of endeavour. Yeah, okay. So, um, you're now called Gearoos, yeah. which actually I, I normally remember better than I remember your old name, um, because there were so many things with the word DJ. Is yeah. that part of the reason for changing? Or? Yeah. Well, basically, the reason behind the change was, um, as a DJ retailer, obviously we've grown massively and we were moving to a new premises, but we're also expanding our product lines, and that's one of the key things that we're working on. We're offering a lot more uh, equipment that sits within the DJ and mobile uh, entertainment sector, but pushes the boundaries slightly. So we're working with bands now, and we're doing a lot more sort of band equipment, live PA and stuff like that, which technically wouldn't have come under gear for DJs, but does fall nicely under gurus. You know, because why shouldn't their bands be able to have access to the same sort of facilities we're offering in Brighton where you can compare the PA to find the best sound for you? And obviously as well, you know, bands need lighting, DJs need lighting, musical instruments as well. You know, it's just an interest. And it's really been helped by the fact that we have a fantastic team of uh, people in our office who have a very uh, sort of very varied interest and different perspectives on the industry. Many come from musical backgrounds, some come from lighting backgrounds, some come from DJ backgrounds, and between us we've got a very wide and eclectic set of skills which allow us to offer you know, advice on a wide range of products, not just DJ related, but anything for sort of music and sound.